Good morning, thank you for tuning in to your daily operations weather brief for Wednesday, August 15th. We saw a little bit of uh, some rain showers last night, mainly north of the Wallops area, but we are going to be seeing some mostly sunny skies with very warm to hot conditions today and tomorrow. Taking a look at our surface analysis across the area, we do have some upper level ridging building over the area that will provide plenty of subsidence as we go into today giving us some warm conditions and really suppressing any cloud cover and definitely suppressing any rain chances today and tomorrow. So it's going to be mostly sunny out there. Um, hardly going to see any clouds today with that high pressure building in. Taking a look at our observation loop across the area, we were seeing some calm winds this morning. We did see a little bit of mid-level cloud cover um, the pre-dawn hours move across the area. That has since moved offshore. We are just seeing almost perfectly sunny, clear skies out there, and that's going to be the case throughout the day today. Seeing some uh, cirrus clouds move into the area as we go into the afternoon, but for the most part going to be uh, clear with some westerly winds throughout the day today with our highs approaching 90 degrees. As of 8 a.m., we were seeing just a few clouds offshore around 12,000 feet seeing those winds west southwesterly around 5 knots with a temperature at 8 a.m. of 80 degrees. <laughs> Taking a look at our weather chart for today, going to be seeing that temperature rise to 8 to 9 degrees as we go towards the afternoon. Those winds also should increase late this morning from the west southwest to around 7 to 12 knots, maxing out this afternoon at 8 to 13 knots, then becoming uh, 4 to 9 knots near sunset with the uh, winds becoming being fairly light overnight from the southwest at 3 to 8 knots through mid-morning Thursday. We are going to see a mild low tomorrow morning of 75 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Only real hazard today is we could see those heat indexes brief, briefly reach 100 degrees. However, it um, looks like our humidity or our dew points will remain low enough to uh, keep that capped just around that 100 degree mark. Taking a look at a terminal forecast, not much in the way of clouds today. Um, the we should just be seeing a few clouds, few serious clouds near 25,000 feet as of 10 a.m., and that'll be the story for much of the day. Could see a, a couple sparse um, fair weather cumulus pop up here and there around 3,000 feet this afternoon. And then tonight, just going to be seeing a scattered to broken deck of serious clouds throughout the night into tomorrow morning. Next couple of days are going to be uh, partly cloudy and hot. We're going to see the um, very warm day tomorrow with a high of 92 under partly cloudy skies with that west-southwesterly flow continuing, giving us that warm air mass. Tomorrow night is going to be partly cloudy and muggy with some humidity increasing across the area with a low of 77. And then Friday does look to be the hottest day of the region with as we have a, a front approaching from the west. That will give us some compressional heating as well as continued uh, southwesterly flow increasing that warm and humid air mass across the region. So it is going to be partly cloudy, humid, very hot with a high of 94. Can't rule out a slight chance of an isolated shower before sunset, but that does look unlikely at this time. That'll do it for your daily operations weather brief. We'll be back at 10 a.m. for your full weather briefing and extended outlook. Have a great day.